Greetings and salutations, YouTube is Hedron here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a new handbag rehab videos. I'm trying to crank these out for you guys because so many of you guys have been messaging me about adding more handbag rehab videos. So this is going to be the third one I believe I filmed up to right now. Um, I will have the other two linked if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, but today, we have this beautiful Monster Gabrielle bag, and if you guys remember, I got this bag for the low, 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 low price of $4 and, like, 99 cents. This is, like, a thousand dollar bag, so I saved, like, 99.5% in savings on this handbag, so it's amazing. If you guys want to see that video, I'm going to have it linked right there and down below in the description box as well, but if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, thrifting designer handbags, handbag rehabs, and all that fun stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post videos every single day. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com, where this item will be for sale once we rehab this in this video. So you can go check that out. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this haul. Or haul. <laughs> let's get into... I'm so used to doing hauls recently. Let's get into this handbag rehab because I'm really, really excited. Because I did have one of these before, but I ended up just rehabbing it in the middle of the night, not filming it, and then um, it sold like really quickly. Um, but I wanted to make sure to rehab this one for you guys, with you guys, so that you guys can see how I do it. So, um, since I started this new kind of like handbag rehab series for this year, um, I have just been like kind of like going and incrementing levels of difficulty. The first video we only used one product, the second one we used two. This one we're going to use three. So, let me show you guys what we're going to use first to hand to repair this handbag. Um, and all these items are going to be linked down below in the description box. Though, um, most of them you can just buy at, like, Target, Walmart, even maybe the grocery store. This might be the only one that you can't. These, though, are sold at, like, Macy's and Nordstrom. But the easiest, I think, is just get it from Amazon, which is where I get them. And they're pretty cheap. And, you know, without prime shipping, it is amazing. So, Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion. Amazing. Really great stuff. I keep going back to this. I cannot get enough. I love it. Um, Cadillac, please sponsor me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the next thing I'm going to be using is this Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to actually be using this, though, um, but I want to clean the bag up as well as possible, and this stuff is fantastic for that purpose. Um, so, yeah. This. And then the last thing we're going to be using is the Kiwi Leather Dye. This stuff is amazing as well. Also, you can purchase this at, like, Walmart, Target, CVS, Rite Aid, I'm pretty sure, um, any of those kinds of stores. And just go to, like, the shoe, in the shoe section of Target and Walmart, and I believe, like, they usually have, like, a little thing at, like, a Rite Aid, just, like, a little waterfall on the side of a fixture or something, or, anyway. Kiwi leather dye. Make sure that it's the leather dye, though, because it does come in a leather polish. It looks exactly the same, like the bottle, but make sure it says leather dye instead of leather polish because those are not the same thing so um these are the three things we're going to be using uh, and of course we're going to be using the microfiber cloth um as well but you can purchase that anywhere as well so uh, all these things will be linked down below in the description box uh, these two things you can definitely just get them at your local store um very very easily um so with that being said we're also going to go in this order one two three yes okay so let's bring the bag back out and uh, we will discuss uh, the things that we're going to want to fix today. So uh, you can probably tell already just from the front of the bag. It has these marks. Um, it was a combination of dirt, combination of like kind of like a light scratch um, throughout right there. Uh, the corners need just a little bit of help. Um, they're just like slightly rubbed, so they just need a little bit of dye on the corners. Um, the back actually looks pretty fantastic. What might have happened is they might have, like, rubbed up accidentally against, like, a, like, a brick wall or stone or, you know, something to just scratch up the bag. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is clean this up. And if, once we clean it, then we'll get a better understanding of, like, what we really need to do right there. Because right now we're not too sure. So we're going to be using the leather lotion. We're just going to apply a little bit of leather lotion. Ooh, it's like a tongue twister. We're going to be applying a little bit of the leather lotion onto... Man, I'm, you guys are probably tired of hearing me say this. Or maybe I'm just tired because I've been saying this all day because this is the second video I filmed. Um, but we're just going to be putting it on here. And then just a circular motion. I'm going to laugh if this is all this bag needs to, like, be clean. And I, like, film this whole thing. And I'm like, we're going to dye it. We're going to do all this. 
Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, man, I'm telling you, leather lotion works miracles. I don't even think we need to dye this other than the corners. I thought there was going to be like a big old scratch, but sometimes like the leather lotion, it just really is all you need. Okay, look at that. That looks phenomenal. Oh, I'm dying. This is crazy. Um, okay, well, Monster Gabrielle, you guys use amazing leathers, truly. I love Monster Gabrielle bags so, so much. Um, they are so beautiful. I love the leathers that they use. I love that the colors are different in the interiors. Like, you can get different colors. You can get, like, cobalt. This one's the red. You can get the gold. You can get the silver. <sighs> So beautiful. Okay, so, um, it looks like we're not, I, I thought we were going to have to do a situation with the front where we were going to dye it and stuff because there was going to be some marks, but, um, I just was, I surprised myself, you guys, with the leather lotion. I was like, man, this is scratched up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, we're just going to apply the leather lotion throughout the bag first. Um, let's do the bottom of the bag as well. But we still do have to touch up the corners of the bag, but the corners are going to be so simple. Like, it's going to be, like, literally so easy. So, we're just cleaning the bottom. We're going to clean the back of the bag. And what I love, too, about the leather lotion, and I've said this in, like, all my videos recently, is that when you're adding moisture to the bag, you're kind of adding a level of defense against scratches, color transfer, marks, and stuff, because it's just like your regular skin. When your skin is dry and flaky, it's more prone to cuts, and um, tears or whatever in your skin. So the le like leather on handbags is skin. So you want to make sure that it's nice and moisturized and it'll prevent um, things happening. And if th something does happen, like you get a mark on it, um, it'll help remove it'll help you remove the mark easier because it's not complete there's like a little barrier of the moisture from it getting directly all the way into the leather if that makes sense so you're just like adding a level a level of defense um so that looks fantastic you guys ah oh, man <laughs> oh my gosh it already looks brand new even the corners um are looking really good but I know that they will lighten up a little bit once, uh, so I guess we're not, okay, so unfortunately, I, we're not gonna need to use this, we, we don't need to, it, we really don't, um, so, we're just gonna be using the leather dye, and for this, I love the applicator, it's like a sponge applicator, um, it has like a little thing inside the nozzle, we just like push down, and then it like releases some of the dye into the foam and then you just apply it really nicely and it's amazing it's the best cover-up touch-up thing ever uh so far i only have seen it ever in black people have told me that they also have it in brown um anyone can anyone please tell me what other colors these come in because i have literally never seen them um i've only ever seen the polish in brown which is not the same as the dye again anyway uh this is just so fantastic like it's literally life-changing this is like the best um little leather hack ever that's why like i love black bags just for this purpose because they are so easy to fix up um so okay these corners are honestly like not too bad so i want to show you guys um the corners that are going to be more visible like this one right here let me zoom into it there was like what is this little particles of stuff coming from the interior of this bag um okay so you see right there it's like kind of like gray ish now there's 
actually two ways that you can fix this but we're just going to be using the dye because i feel like this is a lot more easily accessible to people because you can just buy this at walmart and it's not really going to be too out of your way and you can use this for a multitude of different things or different things like your shoes belts bags um everything so But I think I actually will take you guys a step further after this, just because. But that's pretty much all you have to do, so excuse my sweating hands. That's disgusting. I apologize profusely. Um, but you're just going to use that to dab on the dye onto the corners. Oops, I'm like not even in frame right now. So dab that onto the corners, and then you just... This stuff dries in like... A minute though I would wait um, up to 24 to 48 hours to use it because it still can rub off but once 24 to f I, I always go 48 because I always want to be safe though um, it does say like you can pretty much use it within 24 hours and it probably like, it pretty much won't rub off but I always wait 48 hours to be 100% sure you don't really have to put any coatings on this or anything because it is a self polishing <sighs> dye so um once you do that, that's pretty much it. But if you want to, um, which I think I'm going to do for this, because the finish of the leather is a little bit more different than just a dye, I am going to be busting out the Angelus Acrylic Leather Paint right here. This stuff you can purchase on Amazon. I will also have this linked down below in the description box. Um... This stuff is really, really great. You can use it on fabric. You can use it on leather. Uh, you always want to make sure, though, that if you're going to be painting leather, to use a really good um, acrylic paint that's specifically for leather because this will hold steadfast. It's not going to run. It's not going to color transfer. The pigment's going to be fantastic. So um, it also does come with, like, it looks like a nail polish applicator on the inside. And we are just going to just dab this on really lightly into there. And this will look fantastic when it's done. Sorry, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I have to like angle the bag so that you guys can see it. And then there we go. Okay, perfect. So there's that. And then let me just hit this tiny little corner right there. Right there. Now this takes a little bit longer to dry. It's not as fast as the... I'm actually going to use the straps of this to hold up the bag. Um, you actually need to wait a couple hours for this to dry completely. But once it dries, just like the dye, it's going to hold steadfast and it's going to be fantastic. And I've shown you guys this product in past videos using it um, to paint bags, to fix the edge coating on bags. And the edge coating is this stuff right here on the edge of the straps. That's what the edge coating is. It's essentially kind of like a wax seal or like... You know, but um, you can actually just mimic the look of that by using the acrylic paint, and that's good to go. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video. The bag will be good to go, be good to use within 24 to 48 hours, and it's going to look... It already, like, this is pretty much how it's going to look when it's all dry, and it looks fan fantastic it looks so good i am so happy with the way it turned out i wish i took before and after photos but i totally didn't take a before photo it's just the footage that i have here um but the bag is so stinking cute it's the medium size monsoor gabrielle bucket bag it does not come with the interior um pouch unfortunately though it does have the little um attachment thing inside still just no pouch um uh, but yeah this will be up in the shop it's hadrian.com if you're interested so thank you guys so much again for watching this video if you guys are watching this video before the end of august 
31st, 2019, I am offering 20% off your entire purchase for you guys at Thrift Squad. So anything that you want in the shop, message me first and I will lower the price by 20%. And if after the, um, the price has been lowered already by that 20% and your cumulative total is $100 or more, Depop is actually offering free shipping for priority or free priority mail shipping within the United States. So that just happens automatically. Uh, but for the discount to be applied, please message me first because I cannot do anything after the fact that you've already purchased the item. Um, I have to lower that price before. So um, yes, so message me on Depop. Again, everything's going to be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys immensely and I'll see you guys all later. Bye. So there is so almost like like the store is getting pretty bare because we are going to be moving down the street at the end of October so it's going to be super duper awesome so I cannot wait to see the new location but till then a lot of their stuff here is actually going to is actually currently on sale so come by check it out taking you on a quick tour to see what they have I definitely have to take 